What's up guys, Johnny here. You want all the max rewards for zombies, but you don't have time to spend like six hours a day to do your tree survivals and tree raids. Well guys, I have a guide for you today. I will share with you guys all my tips for solo speed farming. It's all about efficiency and saving time and be able to get the maximum rewards every day. So watch the whole guide guys, because I have a lot of tips for you. Now here's the deal guys, every day it's gonna reset at night and you have three shots at survival and then you have three more shots at raids and you wanna do the hardcore raids to get the purple rewards. Now here's what you need to know first, there's a maximum of five rewards you can get per survival run and five rewards for raids. It's even mentioned in the description and I just realized that yesterday. Now read number three guys because it's really important to understand, you receive more items based on how many rounds you survive but an additional item will be added to your reward for every three rounds cleared and there's a maximum of five items so basically you have to clear 15 rounds and that's it after round 15 when you get to round 16 you can quit and you will receive your five rewards so usually it's one purple and four blue uh, and leave a comment below if you guys had something different because seriously the game just came out yesterday and I don't know all the possibilities. So I know they say on number four the more rounds you survive the better the quality rewarded items will be. But I seen some guys on Reddit get to round 30 and they don't get better rewards. They seem to all get one purple, four blue. I think what they mean here is if you die on round five, maybe you're not gonna get purple, you're just gonna get blues. But if you survive to round 12, 13, maybe you have a better chance to have purple. If you clear round 15, you always get a purple and four blue, but then again, correct me if I'm wrong. So today's guide is how to get to round 15 as fast as possible, be the more efficient you can be. You don't want to waste an hour per run. You need to do three every day. So if you can do it around 20 minutes, well, that's going to be pretty good in my opinion. So in this guide, we'll go step by step everything you need to know for the early game, the mid game, the end game to get to round 15 fast, clear round 15 fast and then just quit at round 16. So start of the game is always gonna be the same. You just wanna clear round one and two as fast as possible. There's no trick, not wasting any time. Just shoot the zombie as fast as possible and just get rid of it. Because I know in other situations, you wanna maximize your points. You wanna let them enter. You wanna shoot one or two bullets and then knife them because you get more points and you have a chance that they will drop a power up. But in this mode, seriously, you won't need the extra points later. You just want to get to round 15. So not wasting time, not messing around. Shoot, 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 clear the rounds, and then move on. Now round three is where you're going to start moving. So what I do on round three is I let them spawn because they're going to spawn in the same room. And when they all in the room and they start getting close to me, I will open that door. I know some guys like to go down the stairs instead, but I open that door and I go the long way. Now there's 12 zombies, they're gonna follow this super slow, so I go to the box. You're gonna have to get two weapons anyways, so you might as well go right now and spin the box, the mystery box, twice, because you need two weapons. In this run, I got super unlucky, but basically, guys, there's a lot of RNG involved. If you get the ray gun early, your round is gonna be super fast. You're gonna get a 20 minute run maybe. If you get bad luck, well maybe it's gonna take 30 minutes, but seriously, you need the ray gun. It's as simple as that to get fast clears. It's all about the ray gun and nothing else. Now at the end of round three, I like to go and get some buffs. You can also gamble on the mystery box if you want, but it's all about survivability and damage. If you deal more damage, you're gonna clear the rounds faster. So I like to go with the, the damage buff, the one that gives you 10% extra damage, the one that gives you 10% extra HP. And the next one, I think you should go with up and up. It's gonna increase after killing an enemy, you're gonna have increased damage and it's gonna stack up to three times. Now in my other runs, I was going with reload speed, uh, plus 10% and extra headshot damage when you're fully reloaded. But after thinking a bit about it, I will go up and up instead. So go for HP and damage and then move on. Now at the end of the early rounds, you can go back and upgrade your perks or you can spend on the mystery box also if you're still looking for the ray gun. 
Now you just want to have enough power and survivability to clear the dogs on round five. Round five is always the dogs. They're going to deal some damage to you. Hopefully you can survive. And they always drop max ammo apparently. i never seen a situation where they don't drop max ammo. So you're going to have enough ammo for the next rounds. So round six, seven, eight. Uh, try to clear the rounds fast and this is the only door I open by the way is the door where there's the the flogger trap you can round circles here you can run circles I mean and it's very easy you let them spawn they always spawn at the same place you can turn around and then when they're in a pack you just shoot and once again if you have the ray gun early this is gonna be very very easy and fast now I don't have the ray gun but any gun will do aim for the head try to clear the gut the packs fast and uh, move to the next round now your job on round six seven eight is try to rack up some points because uh you're gonna have to go for a run and try to get your juggernaut perk for the last rounds for round nine ten to fifteen you're gonna need more help because you're gonna get tapped more and you need the ray gun of course so you need to stack up some points at this point of the game it's all about getting maximum points and uh go for the perks and go for the guns now when it's time to go for your perks, I think the first place you should go before you open any door and start looking for the juggernaut, the first place you should go is the elevator. So you need to repair it, you need two pieces of cogwheel or something. Uh, so they will be, they will not always be at the same place, there are multiple spawns for these. But you're looking for two repair kits like that and then you're gonna go to the elevator. So the repair kits can be on the shelves, on the tables, on the floor, you have to look for them. Once you have the two repair kits, you go to the elevator and you click repair. You're gonna have to do it twice. So it says repair one out of two. Once you repair a second time, you can finally uh, open it and it's gonna teleport you. Now why I say this is the first place you should go is because it's free. You don't have to pay for any door. Like the doors are usually a thousand points and there's two perks down there. So you have two chances to get your juggernaut early. I know I made a mistake on my previous runs I was going and opening some doors, try to find the juggernaut, and I was using a lot of points because of that. Now, if you don't find the juggernaut downstairs, you would have to go and pay to open some doors and start hunting. Try to go from shack to shack. There's four different spots down there, and you can go and try to find the juggernaut. Now, you don't have to pay to see what's inside. You can just go at the door and jump or look through the door and see what's over there. If it's not the Juggernaut, don't waste your money and try to go for another one. Now once you have the Juggernaut, it's gonna be much easier to run around and take some damage. Now what you need to do with your money, and that's why I said you need to be efficient with your money, if you spend all your money opening doors, you cannot upgrade your perks and you cannot waste money on the mystery box trying to find your ray gun. Now at this point, round eight, nine, if you still don't have the ray gun, it's time to start hunting. Look for that blue light, you see the blue beam? It's where the mystery box teleported. So at the end of the rounds, try to leave one zombie alive and go for the mystery box and spend all your money. You need that ray gun, guys, because if you get to round 12, 13, 14 without the ray gun, well, first of all, you might die because it's gonna be very hard, but also, it's just gonna take forever to kill these zombies. So you're gonna end up wasting like 40, 15 minutes to get to round 16 instead of 20. Now here I finally got the ray gun. It's round 12 and you're gonna see, I always start the rounds at the same spot and I run circles, I let them spawn. Uh, you wanna be efficient with your ammo guys. With the ray gun, you wanna save ammo for round 15. If you run out of ammo and you don't get a max ammo, you'll be in trouble. So if you gather them in a pack before shooting, you're gonna use less ammo because there's a uh, AOE damage with the ray gun. So gather them together and shoot at the big guys. And one strategy to start saving ammo is gonna be to use the flogger trap once every two rounds or once every round if you waste a lot of time. Once you have the ray gun, you can max out your perks, go for level five everything, and it's gonna make you stronger, you're gonna deal more damage, and you're gonna have more survivability. Now here's the start of round 13 and here's how I try to manage my ammo because you see I only got like 80 left on my ray gun and I know I'll be in trouble. So what I do at the start of the round is the same thing. I got the same spot, I run circles, I let all the enemies spawn and when I know they all spawn, they all together, I will run across and activate the trap here. I think it costs 750 and check it out, it's gonna one shot everything. And sometimes it's gonna drop some power-ups. There's a nuke, there's a double point. So nuke, 
you want to wait a little bit so more zombies spawn and when you activate the nuke it's gonna one shot everything so there's only 18 enemies left now 18 zombies left so the slugger is still running uh so i'll run again try to let the zombies spawn around me and sometimes you can go again under the flugger with a pack of zombies uh, if you feel like you, you can do it or you just turn around and shoot the pack. But still, I was able to save some ammo by activating the trap. Now, once again, this is round 14, exact same strat, run around the same area, let the zombies spawn. You can activate the trap if it's not on cooldown, but sometimes it's on cooldown. So that's why you should use it maybe every two rounds. Uh, so here I realized it was still on cooldown and you cannot go the other side either. So I have to use my ray gun ammo and there was a bit of pressure because I'm running low on ammo. I got really lucky because I dropped some max ammo. But if you don't drop max ammo, you don't want to run out of uh, ray gun ammo. So you'll have to use your regular gun. It's just going to take a lot of time. So really guys try to save ammo for round 15. Now round 15 if you have ray gun ammo is going to be super easy. Just let the dog spawn, run around, always the same place guys. Run around, spam your ray gun, and you're just gonna kill everything pretty easy. Uh, the enemies are not always the same. Sometimes it's Avogadro, sometimes it's Brutus, uh, the Inferno guys also. But you can see, ray gun's doing a great job at round 15. I have my max buffs and uh, it's doing pretty good damage for real. Now here's what I do, as soon as round 16 starts, I just quit and then I'll do another run. So it takes 20 to 30 minutes maybe depending on your luck really now once again if you cleared round 15 you'll get guaranteed five rewards one purple four blue and here i got more tank dmc shards uh and a bit of everything the backpack and stuff but once again your clear times really depend on luck rng is the key here if you get the ray gun early it's gonna save you 10 minutes maybe if you get the juggernaut early, if you don't have to look for it, if it's down there, uh, down the elevator and you find it first, then you don't have to go and open doors and look for it everywhere. You're going to save a lot of time and you can focus directly on upgrading your perks, uh, spamming the mystery box if you don't have the ray gun yet. So really guys, aim for 20 minutes, maybe 20, 25 minutes going to be good. I'm sure we will improve with time. The game just came out yesterday. I mean the zombie mode. So uh, share your tips below, guys. If you think you can improve that strategy, if you have a super great idea that I didn't think, uh, make sure you comment below and we'll help the community. I will post an updated guide later, maybe if we find better strat. But for now, I think solo survival is the fastest way to grind for the rewards. Do it three times every day. It's going to take maybe an hour, maybe a little bit more. But if you want the rewards fast, you have to do it, guys. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was helpful, please hit the like, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.